morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good night. We're on a jumper job site. It's Saturday. We got Long Ethan here. And we got Big Simon. Big Simon's job. Action on. We even got Mitchy Brown. Haven't seen Mitchy Brown for a while, Mitchy. Live action. Live action. Where's the enemy? Bring the enemy on. <laughs> Where's the enemy at, boy? <laughs> and we got Lance around here somewhere too. So, um, get into the action shows. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Saturday here in Australia. We've got a bit of exposed concrete to do and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Watch the last video we watched. All right, stay tuned. Let's go. All right, this is the love job. Awesome. We've got aluminum strips today to put in. So we're not going too far. Nice little job for the boys. Let's see how we go. We're just backing the truck up, looks like. Nice and easy. All right, the enemy's here, Mitch reckons. Everyone's got the Simon Grosset shirts on. Oh, what have I got on? I've got the Concrete Ninja shirt on. <laughs> I got the eyes on my too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this. Somewhere. All right, we got action on. She's going down. Right Sitting over here. And um, we'll get some shots. All right, we put the first truck in. This is the second truck, Dino. Bring us the concrete. So we've got aluminum strips in here, so we have to screed so far, then put the aluminum strip in. We use a string line, make sure it's nice and straight. It was really nice concrete, really easy to screed. And as you'll see soon, it's very easy to finish as well. Probably about a 90 slump, I reckon. All right, it's Saturday. Another driveway with Simon and the boys. Yeah, yeah, and Mitchie Brown. Woohoo! It is eight o'clock, boys have had all the way down. I just went in there and did the trailing through there with the master finished trail. It was, um, yeah, pretty easy. It's all been bulk loaded. It's gonna wait a little while. I'm gonna put a Fresno on it and stick trail it and put some sugar on. And she's done. Boys down there. Mitchie and Ethan are washing the tools up. Good, looking good. A little bit of mower strip done up there too. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're sitting here waiting for concrete to dry. Lance is doing the last little bit over there. Lance is still flat out working. The rest of us are not. <laughs> Simon's gone to the shop. Ethan's packing all the tools away like a good boy, good man. You had to leave school and become a concrete, Ethan. <laughs> all right, while we're sitting around waiting for the concrete to dry, check out this video from Connex. They've got a new app that you put your plans in, take a photo of your plans, and they'll um, tell your measurements, what you need for your concrete, for your beams, for driveways, anything that you need um, to work out how much concrete you need, this app's the go. Now have a check it out. Welcome to Connects Measure. In this four minute concreting demo, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to do the takeoff for this footing and slab plan. Once you have the plans loaded to Connects, the first thing to do is to check that the scale is accurate. In order to do this, select the length, go to a known measurement, click a point to start, and double click to finish. The measurement will then appear in the measurements drawer. If it matches up, then you know the scale is correct and you're ready to crack on. You can add multiple shapes into a group, which will give you the overall total of this group. This will save you from having to add things up later on. For this example, we're going to get the total linear meters of saw cuts. To do this, select length, add group, give it a color, give it the name, SC in this case, and press add. You will then start the measurement by clicking on a point on the plans, go to the next point and double click to finish, and you can continue this throughout the plan. 
you'll be able to see in the measurements drawer that each shape is being added up to give you that total. If you make a mistake, you can delete from here. I'll speed through the rest of the saw cuts, but once you've selected the group in the length tool, you will be able to continuously add a measurement into that group. Once you're finished, you will get the exact lineal meters of that group. Next, we're gonna do an area measurement. For this example, we'll be getting the area of the pavement. As with the length, you just give it a name, give it a color, and press add. If you wanted to add something to your favorites against your profile, you can do that by selecting that tab. As before, click to start, click to change direction and drop a marker. This can be helpful when measuring curved areas as you can be precise. When you are finished the measurement, you double click and this will give you the overall area of that space. If you want to add more into that group, just select the polygon, the group you wish to add to and start again. Click to start, double click to finish, and that will be added into the total of that group. You will see the total in the measurements drawer. You can drop it down and see the exact shapes. By hovering over it, it highlights it on the canvas. This will make sure you don't miss anything. Next, we have the marker. This will allow you to count items. It's the exact same as before. Add marker, give it a name, select the shape you wish to represent it on the plans, give it a color, and press add. By clicking points on the plan, you will drop a marker in the shape you have added. The count will then be visible in the measurements drawer. I've skipped ahead to give you an idea of what the finished product is going to look like. Here is everything you need from those plans in order for you to submit an accurate quote. By clicking the green arrow, it will open up more fields that you can put more information into. On the plan you can see that the minimum slab thickness is indicated as 100mm. You can put this into the depth column as 0.1 and we will automatically calculate the volume for you. Once you have finished all of your measurements on the canvas, hit download measurements and we will send you a quoting template. You will receive everything you measured on the canvas with our formulas in place so that you can generate a quote in minutes. For ordering materials there is the option to put in a percentage for wastage. By adding a percent, it will automatically add up in the totals column. Next, you can add the unit cost. So if you know it's going to cost you X per cubic meters of concrete, you can add that in here, which will give you the total dollar value to do the job. Once you have all your materials covered, you can add in your own contingency and your margin, which will be as a percent of the overall total. By using Connects and our templates, you can cut down your time to quote significantly, allowing you to get on with the job. This is Edin. Dad's crowling. Edin. Sound like that I'm out of time. Yeah. It's kind of Why, it should be. Why, it should be, eh?
Yeah. It's 9.30. Remember the ones you said the tits out about? We got it all sticked. Yep. You can't get them anymore. Looks good. Queensland beach bum. Yeah, and that tits is good. Even this one, Ben. All the way down. Even that a bit of bush, eh? Beautiful. Ready for sugar. <laughs> Carl Lance, do a pose for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been training the off season. He's been training the off season. Uh, always having fun. <laughs> All good, Simon? We're back. We're back. <laughs> Simon's back from Fiji. He got in quarantine for like three months. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's it. It doesn't. It doesn't kill concreters. Like Just makes them stronger. <laughs> All right. Simon's giving it the last stick trail. So we stick trail it three times. Work the concrete a fair bit. That's what we gotta do. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Of the measurements. A lot of you guys find it hard to work out measurements. A lot of you new guys want to start your own business. That's probably one of the things holding you back is working out measurements. Working out how much concrete you need. It's always a mathematical problem. But with this app, it's not, is it? <laughs> Once you learn how to use it. Beautiful. What are you doing, Ethan? <laughs> Ethan's just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> I was doing the other side, but Lance is taking over now. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty hard and flat over there. Beautiful. All right. We'll see you when we're washing off. Oh, we're putting sugar on actually. 10 to 10. And all the trailing is done. All the stick trailing, all the edging. Simon just sugared that little bit over there. Lance is just finishing our last bit off over there, the mower strip. Mower strip footpath. But um, yeah, we are ready for sugar. Good time. Richie's already started stripping. And they got all the pegs off that side. Good stuff. He's taking the screws out. He's in a, kind of a spot. We got it, but he's got it. Yeah. Oh, we'll Take all your screws out first, and then you hit your pegs out. You can leave your box on until you wash off. Beautiful, Mitchy. Simon's doing the last bit of trailing. Just neaten up a bit more before he puts the sugar on. He's a perfectionist. Alright, Simon's putting the sugar on. It must be about quarter to eleven. You roll the smokes before you come to work. Oh, you're right, Eve. It's the time. Oh yeah. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. It's only 10 o'clock. Awesome. Now we're near 11 o'clock yet. Could be out of here by 12. Yeah, you made it, you've made it down to about here. A little bit more here. You're going all the way out to here, Simon, if you, if you yeah, keep spraying. Yeah, I'm trying to get to that. Yeah, okay, yep. You're making a 
You haven't covered the tail end, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's it. I ain't going to get much further. Alright. If you, if you go over there. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. That's yeah. Now, this part is dry here. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. It's all good. Eighteen past ten, and Simon's so just sugaring the last bit. So now we're just gonna wait to wash it off. Wait till it dries right up. It's probably eleven thirty or something. We'll start washing off. Nearly went crazy till just before you I think I'd have to go anyway and make sure you get one. All right, because Ethan's such a good fella and he helps me film all the time, I gave him a new two-wheel board. Yeah, buddy. Make sure you have fun on that. <laughs> Oh, we're about to wash off too, so let's get into her. It's 11 o'clock. It's been like an hour since we sugared it. Yeah, see that feels hard. Yeah. But that doesn't. A little bit. My, my fingers can tell denseness. <laughs> you go on the shady spot, don't groom that shady spot then. Don't touch it with nah, the broom. Yeah, it should be able to get it off. If I broom, it's any sand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 10 mil. Huh? Uh, 10. I think it was 7. This, this plant's different to the This other. one looks like it's got more white in it, that's for sure. It's better already. And it doesn't look like um, cracker dust to the black, does it? It looks like actual round stone. Yeah. Like real pebble. It's good, eh? Stone that we use is like, it's like a, a, a river stone that comes down the river. <laughs> I know some places have got it. Everyone's got different stuff all around the world. Some people have good stuff and some people have shit stuff. Some people don't actually have it, so they can't even do it in their country or their area. We run out of stone all the time. Gotta go mining. You gotta mine some more. If you do a really big job of exposed, you gotta make sure they got enough for you because they can actually run out of stone. Which is not good. You are, Mitchy. One's eye. Wax on, wax off. Mm -hmm. Sand on, sand off. <laughs> hey, sand on, sand off. Nah, it's hard as that, dude. Harder than over there. I'm just going to speak up a lot for a while, all right? Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Alright, we'll watch the fair bit off now. Look at that cracker joint. We can walk on here, we got no dirt on our feet. Look at that. No cuts in this one boys. All alley strip. To the perfection. Look at this little crossover. Pretty good. <laughs> Someone doesn't like pretty. It's awesome. Look at that. Fantastic. I'll start using fantastic. <laughs> the boys are brooming. I can't help brooming. I don't want to help brooming and put too many marks in it. So I'll just stay on the camera and yeah, watch feel it. My yeah. That's it. Where are they? <laughs> Oh, Ethan's over there, I suppose. And Simon, he's a good looking fella. <laughs> These two ugly bastards, I can hell. But they mean well. Good I'm just me. <laughs> good hearted. All right, boys. Be careful. You what? Take his weight on his elbow. Gentlemen, someone to take his weight on his elbow. I fucking do a push up when I do mine. <laughs> no elbow shit. <laughs> I suppose when you when you got chicks with fake fake tits, you gotta get out of the way, eh? You gotta get a bit higher, man. You know, gotta... <laughs> Even. <laughs> All right. Just, the oh, just watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. No fingers? No. You got fingers the other day. I know one little shot, Do it is nearly 12 o'clock and we've got the driveway washed off look at that beautiful beautiful work yeah. Tim, Tim Dosh just an ally, too. Hey. Everyone. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Alright, so we've done the whole driveway. But this part here was in the shade, so we left it alone. So you, any parts in the shade, don't go and wash it off. It's not going to be finished. It's not going to be hard enough. Make sure you give it its own time. You check it yourself. All goes good. We should be able to just wash it off down here. Not over the whole lot. Yeah, it's about five past twelve, Ethan. Me and Ethan have got a bet. We're gonna be. He reckons we'll finish at one o'clock. I reckon we'll be finished at twelve thirty. We've got a half an hour to go for my time, and an hour of Ethan's time. Ah! But Ethan just wants to go home. Really, <laughs> he's had enough. He wants to go and clean his room like a good boy. He's got a mate coming over and he wants his room nice and clean. All your kids should always keep your rooms clean. You don't keep your rooms clean, you get cockroaches and rats inside of it. And then you got rats crawling over your face. Oh, maggots. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> anyway. Driveway's all done. All finished. Boys are done.
he wrapped what up the leg. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the That's your first fucking work experience day, mate. You had to roll a lead up. At least he rolled it up. Fucking rolled it up. It looks like he fucking big bird's nest. <laughs> He might be yeah, my son, but he ain't his fucking. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to teach him, Lance. That's what it's all about. I've got no words. <laughs> no words to explain. All right, good work. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Back with the old crew Lance, Simon, Mitchy, and, and Ethan. It was good times. Always always good times with these guys. Um, hope you liked that video. Hope you subscribe if you can. Leave a comment. Ask any questions. We used sugar and water on this one. So if you want to ask some questions about that, I should have showed you the timing a little bit of when we were doing stuff. So should be good for you. <laughs> and um, if you want to check out that Connex um, app, the measuring app, I'll leave a link in the bottom of the description. So um, go and check it out. It would definitely help a lot of you guys starting your own businesses, working out what concrete you need. I'm pretty sure it's only $40 a month or it's $400 for the year. So if um, you want to do it, if you only need a couple of jobs done, do it, do it for a month and then um, it cost you 40 bucks and you won't probably waste that much money on concrete ordering too much or not enough because when you don't order enough sometimes it costs money to actually bring another load out that extra bit of money so you don't want to do that anyway enough talking shit and I'll see you later see you boys see you later, see you guys see ya awesome work yeehoo <laughs>